Also, a controversial loitering ordinance in Chester Township. It is at the center of the arrest of four members of the same family. The arrest happened earlier this month outside of their own home, and now the family says they're suing. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live in Chester Township with the story. Howard. The family's lawyer says the township's loitering policy was struck down back in 2012. He said that it was too vague. However, he also says that based on these arrests, those policies are still in place. We just came home. Keith Briggs arrested, tased, and put in the back of a cop car for loitering. Prior to his arrest, his lawyer says that he was standing in front of his family's home. He was one of four people from the same family arrested in early October for the same charge. The Chester Township Police Department has failed me, my family. Instead of protecting us and serving us, they decided to attack us on multiple occasions. Rachel Briggs was also arrested. This was the second day in a row family members were arrested for loitering. The township statute says that there are areas of the township where loitering is prohibited. In those areas, the statute reads officers can question anyone they believe is loitering and ask them to leave. It's not clear if this neighborhood is one of those areas. My sister lives here. It doesn't matter she lives there, not here. While the family is trying to explain to them their lawful reason for being there, he's busy putting handcuffs on Miss Lewis and directing Mr. Briggs to be arrested. This is Kamiaga Lewis being arrested. Arrest records show she yelled at her family members to get in the house when officers arrived. Moments later, her cousin, Ramir Briggs, was physically dragged off his family's porch and also arrested. Who do they think they are to victimize a family like this and do this to someone in this community? Who do they think they are? I never felt an embarrassment and shame as if I felt that day. Now, we reached out to the police department several times today. However, we haven't heard back. As for the family, they are now thinking about filing a civil lawsuit. However, first, on October 17th, they'll be in court to answer to these criminal charges. But for now, live in Chester Township, Howard Monroe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Howard, thank you.